that's what I call the nest egg theory. Cause you build, you accumulate this nest egg and then you live off of that for the rest of your life. So now let's dive into the number one secret to uh, being able to retire by age 27. So uh, what's the first step uh, to, um, or your journey um, to, uh, to be able to achieve such a thing? So I, I really had to look at the way that we approach retirement from a completely different lens. So I'll kind of myth bust this whole retirement theory, basically. The way we've traditionally approached retirement is that we work for 40 years, a nine to five job, we invest in the stock market. And then by age 65, we've built, we've accumulated enough wealth that we can live off of that for the rest of our lives. That's what I call the nest egg theory, because you build, you accumulate this nest egg, and then you live off of that for the rest of your life. Here's the thing that used to work really well, but times have changed and the way we've approached retirement hasn't changed at all. And that's why people are in a lot of financial trouble right now. So this is where this concept of passive income comes into play. Passive income, the way I define it, is that it is money that is earned with little to no ongoing work. Is it a get rich quick scheme? No, absolutely not. It takes time and or money to create passive income. But the epiphany I had is that once your passive income exceeds your living expenses, you're retired, you're financially independent. So my goal, instead of trying to save up $2 million by age 65, became let's try to generate five or six or $8,000 a month in passive income. I think passive income is a lot more attainable. So that's what I would say is the number one step is to start changing the way that you're approaching retirement. And with passive income specifically, the first thing you want to do is to ask yourself, do I have more time or do I have more money? Because you will need one or the other or both to create passive income streams. Now, if you're anything like I used to be, you would say, well, neither. I don't have time and I don't have money. So the follow-up question is, which one's going to be easier for you to create? Will it be easier for you to free up time or to create more money? That is the very first thing to do if you want to retire early. Excellent. So uh, let me see if I encapsulate some of that. So um, number one secret is to to change the way we approach the entire concept of retirement. It's no longer the nest egg theory, work for 40 years, develop a bunch of money, and then just live off of the, the interest of that. Um, um, and you to get to truly get passive um, and to be able to retire today would be to do something that's going to replace all of your income or all of your expenses, right? Mm -hmm. um, and be able to live off of that and to have little to no ongoing work. I like the way you put that little to no ongoing work, right? Because that work part of it is that energy, that stress, that thing that ties you to the location, right? You're traveling in Oregon this week, right? And you'll be in Napa maybe next week. I'm here in California, right? I was able to travel with my wife to Cabo, my wife, and then um, going to Dallas, doing all these different trips. Part of it because what I do with, you know, on with my work is, is virtual, right? So I love the idea of little to no ongoing work, but also that location and that time and that energy freedom. Is that a fair summary? Any you know, other thoughts on that? Yeah, for sure. And I would add, you know, a lot of people ask, well, how passive is it? A lot of people think that passive income is just money coming in and you don't have to do a thing. And there are some passive income streams like that. For example, if you have enough money to invest into the stock market and live off of the dividend income, that's extremely passive. That's as passive as it gets. The problem with that, with that is normally you have to have a million or two million or three million invested in order to generate meaningful revenue. For the rest of the passive income streams I talk about, you can expect to work a couple hours a week or a few hours a month to maintain those income streams. So it's not entirely passive, but I do consider it way more passive than working a nine to five job. Excellent. So